picky again. Today has been a filming day. Um, I picked up this little trick from somebody somewhere. It's two pieces of plain scotch tape and a printed napkin. And I'll put those two pieces of tape on this napkin. And if you're lucky, which I wasn't on that one, wasn't lucky at all. Okay. Some paper napkins. That tape will separate the two layers. When you know I picked one up that's all perforated and textured together. Just on the edges. I wonder... Yeah, that edge doesn't want to come apart. But it's not embossed on the edges, so... I mean, in the center. But with some finer napkins, the tape trick really works, particularly after you've got... No, if you've got three layers and it's in the... <clears throat> the back layer comes off pretty easy, but the middle layer won't come off the front very easy. Okay, save that for some other time. Throw that away. Now, I'm going to cut this. You know what? We're going to save that too because we don't need that much. I want four pieces of this printed napkin paper. Okay, put those up before they hurt somebody. Um, this is a procedure I picked up from my latest uh, rock band superstar mixed media artist, Shannon Green. And she was talking about using daddy vans and how this furniture polish... Um, it's made with beeswax. It's all natural. It does not have any kind of an odor to it, which makes me think it, well, it says naturally chemical and solvent free, no petroleum byproducts. It's made with beeswax, olive oil, and canuba wax. So, I got that because Shannon said I needed it, and it rubbed on the pages of your journal books, keeps them from, um, sticking together. The next thing I've got is from my oil painting cubby and this is Dorland's Wax Medium. And this is waxes and resins to be mixed with oil paint. I'm reading, reading, I'm reading. And um, okay, no, then where's the this contains mineral spirits, which you can smell. It does have an odor. Gamblin Cold Wax Medium is a very similar product for the Dorlands. And let's see what this one... I think this one has Gamsol. This one has odorless mineral spirits, so it's got petroleum product in it. And it, it too, ooh, it has a big odor. And it looks like something's growing in it. Yeah. The other thing is, these two, well, these three are very expensive. Um, the Vans, Daddy Vans, was $12, $13. And I don't remember. Ooh, that gambling. Ooh, sorry. Sorry, gambling. Let me turn this off. I'll be right back. 
Okay, I got my information. This one's $23 or so. This is a 16 ounce jar. This one's seven, eight dollars. And the fourth one I'm going to play with is organic coconut oil. Now, the goal here is to paintbrushes falling from the sky is to coat these papers and the wax makes them somewhat translucent and I just realized this may not be the best example because it's colored all the way I'm going to put that back and I'm going to get this one back up overs Okay, clear. Now, stay with me, stay with me. Don't go anywhere. This first stamp I could put my hands on. This is Orange Blossom. It is an orange blossom, I should say. Looks like one of the um, old fruit labels. And I'm going to lay the paper on top. Oh, crap, I moved it. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. All we're after is the imprint of black. Good enough for who it's for. Okay, now ink it up again. And we've got two more pieces of paper. Okay, now, just want some ink on the tissue paper, or the liner of that napkin. Okay, put the stamp pad away, put the stamp away. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is label these. gel plan. Okay, I'm going to go coconut. I'm going to go gambling. I'm going to go Dorland. I'm going to go daddy beds. Here we go. At this point I'm just going to use my hands. We just do half of it. Okay, that's a good idea. Just do half of it, and then you can see the difference between the treated and the untreated. Dorland. Putting a thin coat of wax on both sides. 
The odor that's in the jar, contained in the jar, I'm not smelling at all as I use it. But that is nasty. That may be paint. There's a possibility that could be paint. Okay. Okay, gambling. The Gamblin wax is a firmer wax than the Dorland's. A little bit harder. Okay, there's that one. Now, because this coconut oil lives in the kitchen, Mm. I can smell that on my hands. It's okay, I won't die. I'm not going to die on you. Nope, not going to use that. Come on now. How about this is not a credit card? Okay, now I did not touch the inside of that jar with my fingers, so I have not contaminated it. And I'll be back in just a minute. Alright guys, second part of the grand experiment. It's a good thing I'm not a chemistry professor. Okay, the results of the wax. The Dorland's cold wax is okay. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's not as sheer as the other. The Gamblin didn't do anything at all, which is fine because it's so expensive. This is the coconut oil. I accidentally got the lid off of it. It's still wet this morning. Still kind of greasy. And I don't know if... Daddy Vans has some kind of a uh, dryer in it, I'm sure. I don't think I would use coconut oil. Here's the Daddy Vans. That part's done. This part isn't. It also has to do with this particular napkin, I think, because here's one I did with Daddy Vans when I first got mine. And it's, even though it's still kind of wet after, I don't know, three weeks, I either used too much or, well, probably I used too much. So I think what you could do is just do that and get the extra off. And probably if I had done that in the beginning, it would have worked better. So, um, remember I had trouble with the sticking on this one, the wax, see? So, um, I don't remember what I used on that. I may have used Daddy Vans. Oh, well, that's all I have to say about that. And I just wanted to see if I had a wild hair that the coconut oil might work. Something you have on hand, but obviously not. So, buy yourself some Daddy Vans. And um, that's all I've got to say about that. Bye.